was in the lobby of the hotel. And, um, the um, receptionist was uh, telling, talking to the telephonist, uh, asking if she'd heard about the man in room 32. And I turned around to thinking they were talking maybe about me. And, um, and she said, yeah, did you hear he's dead? And I thought, I laughed at first. You know, yeah. And then I thought, They looked at me as if I was earwigging on their conversation, as if I was being nosy. And I sort of apologised. I walked across the lobby and sat down in one of the nice, easy chairs they had. Very comfortable. And I just sat there and poured coffee. For about half an hour, I read the, um, the local newspaper, which was really interesting, actually, because it had uh, had an article about um, offshore drilling. And then it suddenly dawned on me that my goodness yeah. room 32 I wonder what it looks like now Very funny story, actually. Very funny story. I, 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 was in, I was in a sauna. And a gentleman runs in. He says, everybody, Evelyn Darcy, he's dead. I say, no, not possible. He says, yes, he's dead. But I was just adding some water to the coals at the time. And it startled me, clearly. And I spilled some water. And it landed on my body, on, on my, my lady piece. And everybody's just cracked up laughing. I mean, it was hilarious. Later, I mean, at the time, I was in a serious, serious amount of pain. I, I nearly went into cardiac arrest, but, but it was only later when I look back and I realised how funny that is. That was water dropping, you know, into your private regions, and it was only then that I, uh, I remembered the new, the the news of, uh, of course, of of Evelyn. I was, you know, finding a, a new way of painting just that very day and I was mixing my colours in a, in a new way and I, I, the phone rang and I was told and, uh, and, I, and I felt that he was with me. Strangely, I just thought that's why I found the new colours. It's him. He's, he's showing me a new way of painting. The, you know, my suddenly my canvas was filled with colour, and I knew that he was resting, and that he was happy. Well, you know, the, because obviously initially I didn't realise who he was when we used to, and then as time went on I realised it was um, 
Evelyn and um, I just someone said you know from one of the other shops I remember that that funny guy um, he died and I was just yeah it's sad felt yeah that he wouldn't be coming in anymore and yeah it's horrible you never judged me you understood now I'm all around you I was just in the shoe shop. I wasn't actually buying shoes. I just happened to be in the shoe shop. Um, one of those days, you know. And um, I got a phone call from Barbara um, telling me about the, um, about the accident. Um, and I just sat on the floor and sobbed. Um, yeah, it was my psychologist who, 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 who broke the news to me. I was expecting it for a, for a long, long time. For a long time. Um, if it, I mean, some of his stuff, even if you read it, it's like it's kind of based around death as well, so it, was, it wasn't say it's fascinating, but it was on his like in his subconscious all the time. It made me feel, you know, I felt like I, I lost someone I knew quite well. Yeah, definitely. Only if, even if we spend a couple of like three, four, maybe a week, the most. Yeah, definitely. You know, when you spend so much time and you get into like to know this person, and th this person's got this very. Um, uh, good side or you know you get attached to this person because of their uh, being distressed yeah you know it just uh, yeah yeah that was really sad that was really sad um, yeah I probably had a tear yeah definitely yeah well I didn't cry no I kind of laughed actually not in a bad way but because I knew if he's going to snuff it he's going to be snuff it more or less on the fucking job Honestly, a little bit. I didn't, I felt strangely peaceful seeing the colours on the canvas. I, I felt he was with me and um, I didn't feel the need to cry. I cried. Not, you know, not loads. I told my husband when I got home because obviously he, I used to tell him about him. He's like, God, you're really upset, aren't you? I said, well, he was, you know, sad when anyone dies. But um, when you've met somebody and you spent some time with them to think that they're not, you're not going to see them anymore, it's sad. So, yeah, I was quite sad, I guess. And I cried. I cried then and I cry now. just difficult to distinguish the tears of sadness for his death between those of laughter because it was so funny you know what happened so you know that's black comedy you know are you laughing at the joke or because he's dead you know and that's that's black comedy right there for him, you know you know when they just when they just you know, leave you know 